M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Now, if you haven't heard of Meshtastic Off Grid Network, here it is. And um, we've made this one for about £25. Uh, I did add a battery there, soldered that to the board. Uh, there is actually a connector there. And yes, it does have GPS. We communicate via Bluetooth with our phone, but it's completely off grid. We don't need the internet, we don't need any infrastructure, it just sends a radio message. And you could, the reason you can hear all these cars zooming by is because to get a signal, I've gone upstairs in my house, I'm facing towards Bristol, Bath and Wales, um, so I can get some signals. You can see I've just received one there from Bleeden Hill, which is about three miles from me. Th and this is a, a tiny, tiny antenna in here. So let's have a look at just some of the messages. We're gonna scroll through. Now you can download the Meshtastic app. You can go on the Meshtastic website to flash this device. There's a Meshtastic flashing tool. It takes two minutes to flash. There's nothing hard about it. You plug a USB into there, click flash, and the people from Meshtastic have done all the hard work. Thanks so much, because it is absolutely fantastic. And in, like I said, inexpensive. There's lots of different devices. This is the Heltec version three, inexpensive. If you want super duper ones that look like Blackberry phones, they're out there. So let's just quickly scroll through the messages that we're getting here. And they're all listed here. So we got van two minutes ago. Now I'm not sure about the distances. I'll tell you why, because although I put in the a manual location, I couldn't get the minus in. So we, we can tap the locations and most of them are coming up um, they're coming up with, let me think now, Bristol, Bath, Wales, Bleeden Hill, that's very near to Western. And so everything you're seeing on this screen, you're seeing here, the R is a reset button. So let's just press it. Okay, keep going through, and then we'll look at what the phone messages actually say. Altitude. So you're just scrolling through, and it just remembers them. Bristol, router. Long, fast is the channel we're on. So I think there's other channels. That's my manual location. Someone tell me how to make it use the GPS on my phone, but then will I be cheating? Okay, so you get that. And then what we're gonna do is scroll through. I just, I'll take the front off this, just so you can see what it looks like inside. There's the front, you see? So you've got the Heltec board, a little antenna there, USB, a couple of buttons. The antenna's wrapped around that and there's your antenna. You can buy an external antenna um, connector and then add external antennas, should I say. And yeah, the batteries, they don't cost much and they last forever. They just last for ages. And then there's a pairing system where once you've added it, added the firmware to this device, you just swipe down, turn on the Bluetooth, it pairs, gives you a little number and then you're into the menus that we're going to look at in a minute. The front just clips on. So scrolling down now to look at this section, we just tap the people here. So we'll, we'll scroll down, we'll tap, tap one, we'll tap, let's tap the van, let's see where the van was. And there's your map. Now if I zoom down, I am, um, let me think now, I'm trying to recognize where I am now. I'm here where it says work, yeah? Is that me there? Your location, yeah. So that's me. I don't know what calibrate means, but we'll, we'll, we won't worry about that now. So, oh, I've just shut the app. <laughs> okay, you got the idea. You can tap the location of people. Let's try one that's further away. Uh, that's a very near one. Uh, let's try a further one away. Neil Teco, that was one of my first messages. Bristol, Cardiff. Oh, there's no location there. Let's try this Western one, see where that one is. It zooms in very quickly, so that's not far from me. Let's go back. Bleeden Hill. Okay, there's one on Bleeden Hill. Could be on a repeater site, I know there's one up there. So just quickly look at the settings. If you tap the three dots there, I think it's saying that I've gone offline now, I've disconnected. But look, you've still got messages coming in here. Joined BRS16, joined Hell Node, Ilminster, joined. So you've got all these people joining. 
It now says fixed GPS. So I'm saying, I'm guessing I've now, oh no, that's because I typed in the fixed GPS. Okay, interesting. Um, now let's go to the messaging section and see if anyone replied. <laughs> No, no one's replied to me, but I've seen them replying to each other. These are messages where they've spoke to each other. Go back. Now we are connected again. Radio configuration, you've got the user, and there's a slight delay when it before it shows you everything. Now if it doesn't do it, then I would say I, I might be disconnected, but I don't really need to show you everything now. I just wanted to show you and then you've got MQTT, which somehow, as far as I know, interfaces you with a server, and then you're gonna get more info, but I'm not sure if that's purely off-grid. Bluetooth, you can connect via Wi-Fi. You've got range test, telemetry, external notification, serial connection. When you, when you use Wi-Fi or Ethernet, it disconnects the Bluetooth. So all I can say is, is, is check it out, give it a go, you know? And it's a shame that I'm not connected. Although it says there that I am connected, so why is it not giving me my radio configuration? Normally you tap that. I think that's long enough for now. Check it out, you know, off-grid networking. If you're in the middle of nowhere and there's a few of you that have got these devices, you can contact each other and you do not need a mobile phone. You do need range, you need line of sight, you need to be able to reach each other. You can boost that a bit, I'm guessing, with very good high gain antennas like i said in the uk it's 868 megs but there's 433 megs for different uses in america i think it's 900 and something let's have a last quick look through look st uno mobile 30 minutes 10 minutes nine and to reboot I just press that and it reboots. Maybe that'll give me my um, connection again. Reboots, uh, let's try user now. It would have been nice if I actually got a message. Yeah, it's not connected yet. See the little flag there? Depug panel, look at all that. Bit of a mess, but it's there. Export range, CSV theme, language, show introduction, quick chat, about. Ah, it looks like I'm connected now. Let's try the user again. I'll probably have to just reboot everything again. Radio configuration, user. Ah, no, yes. That's orange box. That's better. It's starting to work now. Channels. Get channels, which we're on the long fast at the moment. Position. that as my fixed if I go off and I have an it looks like GPS I did leave it enabled so someone has said I can uh, you can buy units that have got GPS built in power and any changes you make it reboots Laura which stands for long range okay lots of settings there I mean it's a real learning curve to it but once you know it or you know it you know M there's that MQTT thing if I turn that on just briefly Send. It sends it to the device, reboots, then we'll go back. Does that make any difference to what I will receive? Someone let me know. Go back here. Am I going to start getting lots of messages or does it make no difference? I think what we'll do, we'll just stand by for a couple of minutes and see if I get any new messages because of it. Hard to say, but I've just had that one there come in. Western Supermare. Because I'm doing it all one handed. I've got this here as well. It's showing on the maps. At least one of the things. There, look. Neil Node. Uh, <laughs> Orange Box. Why am I in. Um, why, why is it showing me, what is that, Somalia, I don't understand that, someone explain why it's saying that, it's 
D Bristol M7 PCE. I might message that station and say I received them because I can get them on QRZ. M7 Papa Charlie Echo. Uh, Mars Laura. Stu Uno Mobile. I hmm, wonder if that's the Bristol University in Bristol. Could be. It's fascinating, isn't it? So I've got several other devices coming. I've got the, I'll see if I can find some photographs. We've got this one coming, which is the T-Deck. This is the Lilygo T-Beam. So that one's on way, and I think that one's got built-in GPS. We've got the T-Echo coming. Lots of cases available out there. So I just recommend you just get, a, you need two really to properly test this, I reckon. Put one in the loft, one, you know, in your, in your shack or at your home, and then you can send messages to the one that's in the loft with the good antenna and be part of the network without having to go in the loft. So bye for now. Hamtech, thank, thanks for watching my YouTube channel, M0FXP73.